Welcome everybody to a game between the best quarterback in the NFL and some guy called Aaron Rodgers. The Misfits here today, they're at home and they're going to be playing against the Green Bay Packers and good news for Antonopus, he's got Bob Grinkowski back, he's healthy again, there's Ben Dover and they're going to be looking to do a lot more on offense this week as they've been a little bit weak there but of course the defense has been strong led by this man second and four now trips to the right side Jordan Michaels again he's teamed up against Devontae Adams looks like he wants the majority of these snaps and Adams gets the first down on the catch so second and inches looks like there's a blitz coming in but they go for the play action Vincent Brimbles doesn't get there going downfield to Randall Cobb the completed pass it's Colonel Sanders in coverage and he lets him get that catch. Rogers right now, four for four, and they're moving down the field. So now first and 10, and the fullback is in the game as Mitchell comes in motion, and Rogers goes to fake again. There's no run so far. He's under pressure, but he lets it go. Finds Adams, who cannot hold on as he takes a hit there from Colonel Sanders. That one was close to a sack, then was close to a catch, and then close to an interception. There was a lot going on in that play, but in the end, nothing happened. So now second and 10, we saw a little bit of pressure there, and let's focus on this defensive line who is yet to get to Rogers and yet to really put him off his game. BJ Wiener needs to get a little bit of pressure on him. And again, he's got plenty of time to throw. He finds an open cob. Vincent Brimbles was the one coming close to him. Finally tackles him at the three yard line. Defensive pass interference cost us two yards, which really isn't a problem if it stops a touchdown. So first and goal from the one rather than first and goal from the three. Rogers under center, dropping back, quick five step drop, looking to run in and he goes straight into the end zone, untouched. Having a fun little celebration there, throwing the ball around this defense, and there he goes on the floor. But this defense has never looked this week, and they just let him walk straight down the field for an opening drive touchdown. So now first and ten, the offense comes out, and Tunapus is going to have to go step for step with Aaron Rodgers, but that should be no problem for him as he goes straight to Mandy Ross there for a quick completion for seven yards. Second and three, Antonopus in the shotgun, dropping back, looking to pass, throwing it in the direction of Quattro Cinco. No, that was his favorite target, Sung Ki Wang, and it's intercepted. It's Whenever he throws to that right side, it gets a little bit risky, and it's an interception there by, I believe, Kevin King, and that is not a good start for this offense. It is the opposite of what we needed, and it's just not good enough. Throwing it there to no receivers looking whatsoever. So now first and 10 from the 42 yard line for Rodgers and the Packers offense as they go for a play action here again. Not really much pressure on Rodgers who steps up in the pocket, has plenty of time and finds an open receiver in Mitchell and the sideline at the 16 yard line. This defense has usually been strong but Aaron Rodgers is completely picking them apart. Remember this is a team that won against Tom Brady but Rodgers seems to be something else for them as Jimmy Graham goes through the tackle of Colonel Sanders and is finally brought down by, I believe, Vinnie Cousins. And now the Packers in a heavy formation on the four-yard line going to probably run it. No, it's a play action again as Julie Mann brings down Aaron Rodgers. No chance for him there. And Maybin Forgotten came in as well. Second and goal. So we enter the second quarter here. Second and goal from the 12-yard line. And this time Rodgers is in the shotgun looking to avoid that pressure that came in that time. As they go for the first handoff of the game. And Ty Montgomery runs over a man. If you don't see that happen often. And that's a bit of an embarrassment right there. Third and goal at the 6-yard line that sets up. It was Lil Dime who got trucked by Ty Montgomery. Second and 11. James James is in the game. Antonopus probably looking to pass now as Mandy Ross comes in motion. They go for the pitch instead, and he's got some blockers in front of him. James James gets tackled. Third and one, James James still in the game. James James getting the ball, and he's running well. It gets the first down before being tackled. And now we see something we haven't seen so far this season. The Misfits are moving to a running game after passing did not work on the first drive. And they'll probably look to go back to the passing game now with their six foot three running back in the game. Antonopus with time in the pocket finds Bob Grinkowski who is back from injury and he gets a first down on his first catch. Second and ten now and our big back is in so you can expect a pass here. Antonopus looking to pass finds Sun Ki Wang who somehow got away from Kevin King. Just evaded him and got the first down and a couple of extra yards. And now the Misfits go hurry up. As we see Mike McCarthy's view of the field here, he's staying very stationary and is actually outside of the area where he is allowed to be. So he should be moving a couple of steps to his left to get back inside that zone. We'll be wanting a flag if he does not. And he just overthrows the short James James there, looking for the power bank as a receiver and throws it right over his head. And they go straight away again. Second and 10. 1 minute 36 left in this half. Obviously wanting a touchdown here to tie this game up. And they go quickly. Antonopus looking down the field. Moving to the right now. Throwing across the field. James James with the catch. Gets taken down 
just shy of the first down. Less than one minute left in this game, 56 seconds left, 16 yards to go to the end zone. Antonopus with James James behind him in the pistol. We've got a blitzer coming down in Haha -ha Clinton Dix. Antonopus does not let go of it. The pressure is too much. Clay Matthews with the sack. So this will set up third and 10 at the 22 yard line. Antonopus, empty formation there on his own. Hopefully the line will be able to block for him. They do a good job. Completes to Sun Ki Wang who cannot keep a hold of the ball. So the pack is kicking off to start the second half and it's Raj Gadeep in the back to take it back and he gets to the 30 yard line, the 31 yard line before finally being stopped. All he has is speed but he used it to good effect there. Third and nine now for the Misfits. Can they get a first down here and keep this drive going or was getting possession a complete waste of time as they go for a screenplay here? James James, he had blockers who left him alone but James James doesn't care as he does it all on his own. Spin move to get away from the defender and picks up the first down as his blockers pretty much just left him alone. First and 10 now from the 49 yard line. Antonopus under center, towering over the center as he goes for the play action and some great block in there and now he decides to run for himself. The lumbering giant looking to truck defenders. Doesn't work, but you've got to appreciate the effort. The offense now just outside of the 25 yard line and this drive is going well. Antonopus looking to go for a play action to James James. has got to let go of that one quickly. Does do exactly that and JR Jr's Jr is in to the end zone. I don't even know where he lined up, but he, he suddenly appeared on the field and gets the catch, the reception for the touchdown. I'd love to see a replay of this because I do not know where he came from. It was James James in the backfield and all of a sudden, JR Jr's Jr is there as a receiver, catches the ball, nobody touches him, he's into the end zone for the touchdown, but of course that's what you'd expect from your receiving back. Good hands and there's the score. That will tie up this game. Baldo Scantling looking to take this ball back and takes a big hit from right foot at the 26 yard line. The kicker can hit two. Then he takes down the returner. So now first and 10 from the 26 yard line. We've still not seen much pressure on Aaron Rodgers. He's been sacked once, touched a couple of times and that's about it as he's got plenty of time back here again. Finding his receiver over the middle and he was surrounded by four or five defenders but it doesn't matter Devontae Adams makes the catch Aaron Rodgers under center this time it is vital that they get some pressure on him and a big hit from BJ Wiener on Ty Montgomery I want to see a replay of this one as they hand the ball off but BJ Wiener was right there with the monster hit crushing the running back so second and 12 unfortunately no replay of BJ Wiener's monster hit as Rodgers has time to let go of this one finds Randall Cobb who spins away from one man jukes another and then is finally tackled by Jordan Michaels, first and 10 at the 36 yard line. So now Rogers in shotgun gets the ball, no pressure really here again, but he does throw that into a contested area and Jordan Michaels had a chance of that one, should have picked it off. Second and 10 now, Rogers in the gun again, a little audible here before the play as he goes for a fake handoff, the play action, a little bit of pressure, but not really as he gets it to Mitchell when nobody is near him, Chad Kroger doing absolutely nothing in coverage and it's a touchdown to the Packers. Rodgers right now just picking apart this defense that until now has been very good. And here comes Fanatisos Antonopus. 14 attempts, 9 completions, 105 yards and a split bill on touchdowns and interceptions. Not good enough but he was good in the last drive. And as we come in now with the fullback, Denzelius, in, on the field as well. We're looking for a little bit of a power run. There's nothing there. He's got a couple of options as he goes to. Well, he was looking for Denzelius, but actually he found his favorite receiver in this game, Kevin King, for a second interception on the day. So now the Packers have the ball at the 32-yard line. Aaron Rodgers are looking a little bit flustered as he runs away now. And he is taken down by the man, the myth, the legend, BJ Wiener. And he takes down another Legendary quarterback Aaron Rodgers this time going down under Wiener and second and 16 it sets up but BJ Wiener five sacks on the season already wouldn't be denied this time he goes into a double team but Rodgers rolling out gave him a chance and he took advantage of that we had a blitzing cornerback coming in too actually it was maybe forgotten who came in it was a blitzing linebacker but Wiener would not take any help on this one takes down Rodgers for his fifth sack of the season second and 16 five minutes left in the game 37 yard line they're going to need some negative yards to keep him out of field goal range instead it's a massive run by Ty Montgomery and finally, Mighty Mouse Jones MD makes the tackle. Second and four, three minutes left. Rogers may be in a little bit of trouble, but he finds Graham for the completion. Mighty Mouse Jones MD comes and lays the hammer, but it's no good. The Packers are moving the ball and the defense are not doing anything to stop them. Second and goal, two minute warning in effect. And Aaron Rodgers and the Packers looking to put this game completely 
out of touching distance. They're going to have to get a turnover off Ty Montgomery here, who instead is allowed to walk into the end zone untouched. This is probably the worst game this defense has played all season, and they really haven't done anything all game long. There's 1 minute 33 seconds left to still score 14 points. Start pushing this ball downfield or throw a third interception of the day to Kevin King. Why not? Kevin King has more receptions today than any one of our receivers. So fourth and one, you figure it's Hail Mary time. I mean, you've completely given up on this game at this point anyway, but let's see what Antonopus can do. He's got a pretty big arm and he throws it early. No idea why he threw it early and that's incomplete and the Packers get the ball back. At least take all the time off the clock. Bashar Breland apparently knocks that one incomplete. And we should see Aaron Rodgers get his knee dirty on this one and end the game here at 24 to 10. It's not the first game the Misfits have lost, but it is the worst game the Misfits have lost as this defense did absolutely nothing and the offense probably looked just as bad. But that's interception number one by Kevin King. That's, I think, still interception number one by Kevin King. That's interception number two by Kevin King and we didn't get to see interception number three. But we're going to have to see how many total receptions our receivers have because I doubt it's much more than three. Ah! 